Hello YouTube, welcome back to this week's video. This is 2E0 IQJ. Check it out, we've got a new bit of kit for the shack and this is a UCPO, the Universal Code Practice Oscillator from Phoenix Kits. Now online, these are going for around about £35. We can buy just a PCB for around about £15, but I want it all in the kit, ready to go. On the front here, you've got your volume and you've got your power, you've got your speed, your key input, big sticker there with the Morse code alphabet and numbers on there. Got your four rubber feet, stop it slipping on the desk, your four screws, so you take apart the unit to insert or remove the 9 volt battery, and these four screws there hold the speaker in place. Now, the good thing about this is you can use a paddle key, or you can use a straight key. So auto sense is what key you plug in. Now most practice oscillators only work with straight keys, like I said, this works with both. Now you see on the front here, this is a 3.5 mil jack, and all my keys are the larger type, 6.35. So if you're using a single key, and it's a larger uh, adapter, you need a mono adapter to make it go smaller. See there, it's mono because of one band. If you're using a paddle key, then you need a stereo adapter. You can see there, it's got two bands. Now if you see me wiggling the adapter around, it's not a fault with the keys or the unit itself, it's the cheap adapters I've had lying around the shack for ages. So let's plug in a straight key and power it on. We should be able to start practicing Morse code, just give it a bit of volume. There we go. Then we can start doing Morse code. There we go, we've just done CQDE. So if I switch it off and change the key over to a paddle key, because I prefer using paddle key than straight key. And switch it on. On the left hand side we have our dots and on the right hand side we have our dashes. So you see I'm getting nothing, only dashes. It's because this little adapter here is faulty, so I'll wiggle it about. There you go. Let's get it again. Okay, we can adjust the speed. Make it a bit slower. Probably about there. Now when you're using a single key, the speed doesn't work. So I can start now, start typing. do the stroke him. There we go. So if I switch it off, hold the keys together, or if you use a straight key just hold it down, turn it on. There we go. It's now going to start sending random letters. So we can start trying to write this down and decode them. Now if I hold the paddles together again, you'll hear a high pitched N and it'll start um, sending out numbers. Hold it together again, you'll hear Harpy's M, and it starts sending out random numbers and letters. And if I hold it again, you hear Harpy's C, and it starts sending out call signs. And the good thing about this is it's all different tones. So that's a, that's a bit of a, dull, a, a low tone. You start hearing high tones in a minute. Come on, we can hit a high tone. There you go. To get it back to just practice mode, just switch it off and switch it on again. Now if you want to see what you're actually typing for Morse code, you can just use an app on a telephone. Or I use this, the MFJ 461. Now I have got the MFJ practice oscillator but off a 9 volt battery, the old tone's not right, it needs to be run off a 12 volt. And I'll link that in the end card below to see the video on that. So if I turn it on, give it a bit of volume, and you'll see an orange light start coming on. Say so it's receiving, receiving something. So if I start going, I've 
just done CQDE. And yeah, I do need to change that adapter. I can do a. Oh, I'm nearly right. I did a GB. It's going to do a GB3 VH, but I did a GB3 V5K. Never mind. Right, that was a look at the Morse Practice Oscillator, the UCPO, Universal Co Practice Oscillator from Phoenix Kits. And if uh, show you one more thing, for those playing along at home, there is the schematic diagram there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. But I thought I'd buy this little thing to practice Morse code with in a shack. Now I know I can do it off a ICOM 718. And I know I can do it with the keys and stuff, but I want to do it away from a radio so I can use it with this kit here. Let's say thank you very much for watching this video, and I'll catch you in the next one. This is 2E0 IQJ. Seven threes.